So this branch here is quite thick. It's, it's too thick to be able to wire it in place. And so I'm, I'm inclined to continue to use this actually as potentially a, a good apex for the, the tree since it's nice and thick. But it also presents some challenges because I'm not going to be able to wire it if I decide that it's, it's not in, a, in a, the right direction that I want it to be in. Um, so uh, I'm not positive that I'm making the right decision here, but I think between this branch and the one right next to it over here, which is thinner, I don't know. I don't, hmm. So I have to make a difficult decision, and the difficult decision is which of these branches am I going to keep? There are three pretty thick branches right next to each other there. And one, two, three. And regardless of what design I end up going with, I'm going to have to try to figure out which one of those is going to be kind of the, the main through branch uh, that, that goes upward and makes a nice apex for the tree. Um, you can't have three branches all right next to each other that uh, turn into the apex. That's going to look weird. And so I have to decide which of these to, to keep. And I, I'm, I'm really not sure. I can't quite decide. Um, it's a hard decision to make. These branches, like this one, is, is too thick to wire. Um, and so if later on I decide that it's not at the right angle, not the right shape I want, it's going to be really hard to change the direction of that. This branch is smaller. It's a, it's, it, it would be still something that I could probably wire into a different position, um, but it's, it's smaller. It's, um, uh, it's not as vigorous uh, a branch. So I'm, I'm kind of torn. I'm not quite sure which of these three that I'm going to try to prune off here. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards taking out the middle one, uh, the thinner one, because I think it's just, I think it's just, the, as I'm looking at it, it's just the one that I, I like the least. So I may wind up regretting this decision, but I'm going to go for it and I'm going to cut off this one in the middle. So I've cut off a few big branches and some small branches. And right now this tree doesn't look a whole lot different than it did when we started. But I'm starting to open it up um, I'm starting to reduce some of my options and that will eventually help me to focus in on what final shape I really want to make. Um, by cutting out some of the big branches, it exposes more of the branches to light. That will encourage more vigorous growth in those branches. I think that this is where I'm going to leave it for now. On a later video, uh, I may do some wiring and show you uh, maybe an example of wire, basic wiring technique. And, uh, and maybe next year we'll do some more serious pruning. I'm not sure. So in my last video, I said that I would maybe come back to working on this tree and prune more of the branches and do some more shaping later. But after I put my camera away, I was thinking about it more and it was really nagging me. So I decided to come back and work on it. Uh, I uh, didn't wind up recording it, but I did want to show the results of what I did and show you why I did it. So um, this is the, the tree as it is right now. As you can see, compared to when it started, we've gotten rid of a lot of the foliage and started to give it a little more shape and structure. Um, I cut off these main branches here. I cut off a big branch here. I cut off a big branch here and I turned this into a, a small bit of gin right along there, if you can see that up close. 
and I started to do some wiring too. Now, try to remember that my, my end goal here is uh, a semi-cascade shape. So as, or, or I may wind up changing it. I mean, as I, as I look at it from, from different angles, I can come up with arguments to do it differently. So part of what you're trying to do is you think about your, the final shape of your tree is to look at what, what do you think is the, the best uh, view of this tree? Uh, what's the best angle? What just looks nice to you? And there aren't, again, there aren't any hard and set rules about this. Ultimately, at the end of the day, it comes down to what do you prefer? And uh, as I turn this around and look at it, you know, there are arguments to, to maybe keep it um, an informal upright style, maybe continue to develop it this way. I might do that. But what I had thing in my mind, what I was thinking was, again, maybe bringing it over at a more uh, dramatic angle like this. And, and then you can see how this over here, this area starts to look more like a, a, a semi-cascade. I've wired the branches so that they, they start to uh, um, fall down a little bit, uh, angle downward and um, and I've also taken this branch here and I've wired it to bend back a bit so that we can see this cascade of uh, foliage here a little more clearly. Um, and then I've left this branch here to potentially become just the, the apex of the tree. Um, I might wind up bending it back or changing the shape a little bit. I'm not quite sure yet. But, um, but that was what I had in mind. But again, I may change my mind at some point here. And if you have any thoughts or comments, um, feel free to let me know. What I think uh, you can see about how this, this looks better than it did at the beginning, one of the things that, that's, I think, improved is that you can see more of the trunk. Before, all of this was covered in a big ball of foliage, uh, in, including the, the part of the trunk that is here. But now that trunk is a lot more exposed, and so you can see a lot better the, the, the trunk and the taper, and it looks more like an older tree. It looks like it's got a little more character to it than it had before. And obviously it has a lot of work to go, and that'll take several years as uh, this grows. Uh, pines don't grow extremely fast, so every year these, these are going to grow maybe an inch or so. Um, and so it's going to take a long time for, for this to fill in um, and, and look more uh, uh, mature. But uh, what I'm basically trying to do here is create some more structure um, that the foliage can build off of. So that's pretty much it. Uh, again, please let me know if you have any thoughts or questions and uh, I'll see you later.